We hope you had a very happy new year and welcome to 2024. Coincidentally, we're starting off the year with an indicator that finds history from seven decades ago. Don't worry, the version we've got is just a baby compared to its grandfather. We made a couple of changes to this, which we'll talk about in a moment, and we've decided to try working this indicator on the Australian dollar, New Zealand dollar chart in light of the fact that's where we're currently working from. This week, we're going to take a look at a below chart, midline cross, confirmation indicator. This isn't your father's or your grandfather's indicator, no sir. This week, for the year opening dope show, we're going to explore the Dota Stochastic Oscillator. Yes, we know the Stochastic Oscillator is on the naughty list, but this version has been smoothed and we're using it in a quite different fashion. The gory details are in the blog, so let's dial into the fun part of the video. One other thing. The version we have is a modified cleaned up version. The stock versions we found were not testing correctly. Upon conferring with our code Meister Neil, he found a few things that needed doing and now we've got a first rate version. Naturally, we'll be posting that version in the library. Thanks again, Neil. So without any further delay, let's get busy. Ready, steady, 2024, here we come. Alrighty, after that beautiful run up, we're going to jump in with this first short signal on our down under chart. Well, that was a smooth ride all the way to Profitville. The exit was a bit on the slow side, so this might qualify as a decent C2 indicator. Now, we'll check out this long signal and see what we can see. That was a nice quick run up for our profit. Smooth too. There was a reversal and retracement just as quickly, so a faster indicator is key. Interesting moves there. Enough of a rundown for a successful trade, and there was a bit of a retracement along the way. Depending on the ATR, you might have weathered the move, or you could have just been stopped out. Either way, we'll mark it on our trusty journal and soldier on. Okay, that was pretty darn impressive. Smooth run up before heading back down. Kind of reminds me of the Rocky Mountains. Find the exit though. Now, the short signal. Right after that initial price retracement, price continued down the slopes to the lodge for more profit. Not enough of a rise in price to give us the win, no matter, chalk it up and move on. Notice that each successive rise in price is less than the previous one. That indicates that volatility in the market is decreasing and not providing enough fuel for sustained trends. This is where a good algo is key. Trying to enter and exit trades with only one or two indicators would get you into trouble. There was a slight rise in the overall market, but perhaps not quite enough to make a profit. This fresh short looks like we've got a big increase in market activity. Let's see how it shapes up. A nice quick rundown before a reversal that went just as quickly. Remember, try working the settings to get quicker price to indicator reactivity for smarter signals. Now the long. And we're back skiing for profits. Yes sir, that'll work. Before the chop, there was a definitive move down to book another profitable trade. That was a nice smooth year for the Australian dollar, New Zealand dollar. Lots of good trades with effortless entries. If you're not looking at this pair, you might want to get it into your rotation. I hope you read the topic of the month in the monthly digest we just put out. I specifically address trading pairs, hint, hint. If you didn't receive it, be sure you sign up on the site and shoot me an email at dan at stonehillforex.com. You know where to get it, right? It's available in the Stonehill Forex library at no cost. The link is in the video's description. Wait, before we finish up, we wanted to tell you about our meeting with Blueberry Markets. We met with head of partnerships in their hometown of Sydney and struck a deal 100% better than the previous one. What this means is that they will now add 20% up from 10% to your initial deposit for new accounts up to the $2,000 bonus, meaning you don't have to deposit $20,000 to reap the full reward. Let's do the math. As illustrated, the more you deposit, the more margin you'll have for trading. That extra free margin can help you get things started. Not to mention, you'll get personal onboarding and full-time award-winning customer service to ensure that things go smoothly but you must use the landing page link on the website in order to reap the bonus. 
you can open either an MT4 or an MT5 trading account. The bonus is good for either one. The link to the account signup page is in the video's description as well. If you need additional information about this offer or how to go about signing up, drop us a line at dan at stonehillforex.com. Now we'll finish up the video. Now don't give us that look. You know we don't play that game. No financial advice is given here. We educate you so you can make your own decisions. You got this. It's the start of the year. Make it your year. Our only goal is to make you a better trader.